This is, you know, this is a very, very emotional issue with strong feelings on both sides. Um, I'm pro-life and I have no problem with that. Uh, I, I think there are a couple misnomers that are being said here. One colleague said that pregnancy centers were unethical. Good Lord, you're trying to save a life? How in the world is that unethical? I bet that person who had their lives saved doesn't think that they were, they were unethical a few years later. In regards to the AMA and ACOG, where they declared abortion bans a violation of human rights, I, you know, I respect my other medical institutions, but those places, um, we know where their politics lie. And um, I just find it unbelievable that we're thinking that healthcare is abortion. Reproductive healthcare, let me explain to you what reproductive healthcare is because I've done part of that for many, many years. That, those are called fertility clinics. They help people reproduce. So calling abortion reproductive health care is, is absolutely a lie. A reproductive health clinic is allowing a woman who has uh, uh, issues with her fallopian tubes or specific hormonal abnormalities or a man who has Kleinfelter syndrome have children. That is what reproductive health care is. Abortion is the termination of a life. I don't know if anybody in this room has ever seen an abortion. I've been called in to uh, fix a urologic problem on abortion. And when you see a baby's hand that's been separated from its arm and you see its head that's been separated from its body, that's what an abortion looks like. So when this is all we get with this touchy feely thing about um, forcing people to have babies, this is all a, a direct result of the fact that we've lost our um, understanding that babies and sex have consequences. So, you know, guys, literally trying to protect young individuals and young women who have a pregnancy, perhaps unwanted, to give them alternatives to life and let that child who was then fertilized and caused to uh, uh, be a life. Give me a break. How is that unethical? Think about that child and young parents who want to be adopted. How many times did I have to refer parents for adoptions when I knew that fertility was not an option for them? And what loving families, not single parent households, did they go to? This is nonsense. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I, I uh, uh, urge a no vote.